Hi there, and welcome to Basically Long Arm Quilting, featuring the Innova Autopilot Mach 3. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the wreath function and how you can take one simple pattern and turn it into a beautiful design with just a few clicks. So let's head over to the software and take a look. So over here in Autopilot, I already have my boundary drawn right here. It's this pink square. Um, we use the boundary tool to do that. And I'm going to go look for the pattern that I want to use today um, as we look at wreath. So I'm gonna go into my pattern library and I'm gonna search for a pattern that is by Joyce Lundrigan that I've got um, called Alaskan. And I'm going to grab this Alaskan P2P with pearls in it. So I'm gonna double left click on the pattern and I'm going to close my pattern library and right here in my pattern pad is the pattern that I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to drag and drop this onto the screen just like so. And this pattern is just one individual piece but let's say I want to put it into that circular fashion that we talked about um, at the introduction and to kind of create a whole new design. So I have this pattern selected. I'm going to go into my wreath tool and when I go to wreath, the first option that I have is repeats, distance from center, rotation, all those angles. Um, I want to first look at how this is going to start a preview. So I'm just going to click on preview. And this is how this pattern is lining up right now. It is doing a rotation from the start point of the original design that we had on the screen. So I want to have it rotate from the center of this design right up here at the very top. So I can go to change rotation point and I get this little dot that appears as I move my mouse around and I want to rotate from the top center point right here. So I can click right there. Now it's going to begin to rotate from the center of this section. So I can increase my repeats just like so. And let's go to, we'll do eight. So when we go up to eight, you see that these patterns start to overlap one another. And it has everything to do with a distance from the center along with the rotation that the pattern's taking in. So this is when you get to play with rotate pattern for degrees. You can kind of move it around and get it in more or less a fashion that you'd like. For these triangles that end up looking like about a 60 degree triangle like this one is as an individual pattern, try using a negative 90 degree for your rotation. So I'm going to change this to negative 90. And this is something that you get to play with and kind of determine because each pattern is different. And then I can just grab this original design and pull it out and you'll see that I can set it exactly where I want it to be. Which helps keep the patterns from overlapping one another. I also have an option to link these patterns together so they'll stitch continuously. So I'm going to go and turn on link and then I'm going to click accept. And now I have a beautiful pattern made from this original one design that I had um, just by using wreath. Super fast, super easy. So I'm going to get rid of this little piece that we've got. My boundary is drawn. I'm going to set this in the boundary, just like so. I'm going to go to my boundary tool. Make sure you click done first. So I'm going to click done. Now select your pattern. It will then resize to um, work with the boundary that you have and the margin that you have. So I can get back to my transform tool. I have that block made. It looks absolutely stunning. I'm going to make sure to save my project. So file, save project, and then I can click go. Once I click on go, we'll wait for it to say continue. Once I see continue, I can click on that and then move over with my machine as it moves to its starting position. Once it gets where it needs to, I'm going to take a single stitch, pull up my bobbin thread, hold those threads nice and taut, press continue on my screen. It's going to do its tie off stitches and then it's on its way. You can trim your threads and if you forget to turn off your laser light like I do sometimes, um, you can pause it, turn your laser light off, and then hit continue again.
I don't know about you, but I absolutely love the way Wreath works and creates a super beautiful, elegant design out of just one pattern and then playing around with some of your rotation angles, I mean your rotation points. Another thing that's cool to look at that I don't think we've really touched on in this series is on the computer screen, you'll see how it actually is stitching out. Um, what's green is what's left to stitch, and then what has that dotted red, which symbolizes more of a stitching line, um, is what has been stitched, and you can follow around um, with that, kind of seeing which angle um, and which direction it's heading. Um, it's just about to be done with this last point. It's coming down into its final arc, uh, or down to the second of the final. Now it's into its final ones. Going to do its pearls there in the center, and then if we look back onto our quilt, it is finishing off and tying off right here. So I can push my machine away, grab some thread, come back, take a single stitch, and then trim those threads, press OK on my screen, and this is the beautiful block that I've come up with. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning a little bit more about how the wreath function works in autopilot. I'll see you next time on Basically Long Arm Quilting.